I'm home alone, <laughs> and I'm decorating cake. Um, as you can see, it's two layers, but this is one cake. So, um, yeah, and I got like. So let me show you everything I got. So I got another one for this to like glaze one, and then like you know, and then I got chocolate. And if you don't know, I love chocolate. Vanilla is also slay, but like chocolate just hits better. Because vanilla is really plain. And then I got vanilla. Then I got like these literal decorating things from the store. Um, I got yellow, pink, I think, and blue. And yeah, and then I got these little things. And then I have other stuff. But we're going to get started. So. What our plan is, girl, is I'm going to take this layer put it on this like because i'm stacking the cake it's gonna be in the middle it's gonna be this. Ooh. i love cake if you don't like cake i mean my best friend doesn't like cake she only likes ice cream cake i mean i don't get it girl how do you not like cake that's a real question anyways we're just putting a ton of icing just and please do not judge my skills i'm literally ice i'm i'm good at drawing i'm just not good at art in general actually i lied um but yeah and i'm not editing this video because i'm really lazy i'm just you know chilling i have to make some american girl doll stuff i know that and i'm gonna try and make a video i don't know I'm just, I'm lathering this bad boy up. Lather her up. Okay. This is only two stacks because of, what am I, making a wedding cake? So. Oh. That's really gross. I'm going to dip it. I'm gonna wash it. Okay, so we sorta of washed it. Now we're getting this and just like while putting it on. Girl, this is so uneven. My mom cut this. I'm gonna do a little bit of this um like as my base like this is the glue this is the glue we're gonna call it kind of okay that's fine Anyways, now we're going to go in with chocolate. You probably think I'm really gross, but I really don't care. Honestly, the way to confidence, confidence is just not caring by Aaliyah. Literally, though. Like, if someone calls you ugly, like... You know what I think? People that are hurt, hurt people. No, literally, it's true. <gasps> this is the perfect time to tell you a story. Like a fifth grade story. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys, okay? I'm gonna tell you while we are making this cake. So, it is, so it was grade five. I'm going into grade six, BT dubs. <laughs> So I was just chilling with my friends, and we, this girl, what are we going to name her? We're going to name her Kush. Okay, I don't even know what that is, but yeah, anyways, if your name's Kush, cool, like I don't, you're amazing, you know? Anyways, 
So she joins our friend group because, you know, she was kind of nice, you know, kind of not. She was decent. She was very bossy, though. That's the one thing. I was like, ugh. So we let her in our friend group, right? You feel me? You feel me? Okay. And then I have her. She's obsessed with my best friend, Addison. Go subscribe to her channel, Addison M. She slays. She's my best friend forever. She's my sister, practically. And so, girl starts brainwashing her like literally addison started acting like she was like nice to me but she wasn't nice to my other friends kind of i'm gonna like transfer this okay i'm gonna transfer you oh, actually never mind anyways so miss girl starts stealing my friend and i'm like hey like i was asking addison like does she talk about me and girl she does talk about me i hear her sometimes and then my friend Addison, like, I don't care who Addison's friends with. I just kind of, kind of get annoyed when someone's, first of all, brainwashing her. Like, Addison does not act like that. Addison is her own person, own amazing person. She's amazing. So I don't need anyone rubbing up against her. Literally, this girl praised her. And, like, I see why, but, like, she was, like, her, literally for her birthday wait i don't remember what she got her for her birthday but she got her something cool and then she gave me reused notebooks which my i'm not like i'm still grateful for that but like let's go and then addison kind of starts to be a little bit mean, meaner than she usually is because because she is Kushti, whatever her name is, I'm gonna call her Kushti, is telling my friend literally that I say bad things about her. Literally, Kushti said once that actually her full name is freaking Kushti, but I don't care. Literally, I don't. Anyways, so girl, Miss Girl starts like being like leaving me and my other friend and out of the thing, and then my other friend them three were like kind of a bit they gossiped kind of well addison didn't gossip that much it was really just her and my other friend but me and my other friend we got over it we were you know we we apologized on both of our ends you know so you keep good friendships and then um i didn't really like that and then girl just starts leaving me and my other friend out of the, the group and girl says to, that we're not in the group and her a uh, my other friend Aknora and Addison are only in the friend group and girl Addison I think got really mad I think yeah Addison got really mad at that like she got really mad because Addison's that person where she will stick up for someone but she also likes to keep friendships so which I love. That's my one of my favorite things about her. She's like an amazing person. So she she always likes to keep friendships alive and you know, feel me? Like she likes to keep everything, you know, organized. Like she likes to know if someone doesn't like her because then she will you know, practically be like, "Hey, I don't like that. Hey, you should have just told me that shit in my face." Which I love that. I really admire her for doing that which i mean that's great and to have that confidence is amazing like she will if someone's like saying stuff bad about me or my other friends she will go up to them and be like hey that's not nice like say it to their face but she says it in a polite way like she doesn't scream it at you which i love that about addison she's amazing anyways I'm just admiring Addison right now. <laughs> but anyways, like, who wouldn't? So, <laughs> my friend, so, she, we're not friends anymore. I literally hate her. I know hate's a strong word, but literally, she's so annoying. And so, she got mad at us and then said, and I used to be, when I, like, a year ago, I used to say, think that, Saying on YouTube, saying that I'm black is a bad thing, but I don't care anymore. Actually, low-key, though. I don't care. So she starts saying that, that, I don't know if I should say this, but 
she starts saying that um the black uh the n-word doesn't really mean anything and it's uh like really doesn't really matter which i saw was kind of mean and then she said the n-word <laughs> but then so i didn't really think too much of it because like i don't care they're usually hurt already and then okay this is something so she came from a new school which okay and so she had this friend and she went to school with my best friend and she was everyone at her old school didn't like really like her but she had this friend and she told her friend my address and my friend's address which was you know bad she tells them that and then she blames it on my other friend and saying that Tabitha told her when Tabitha, my friend, doesn't really know where I live. Usually if she's invited to my birthday, she just gets a text message because she's from basketball. So how would she know my address? And I asked her the same day, do you know my address? And she was like, no, I don't really know it. Why? And I was just like, it was just a question. And then... I'm done glazing up. <laughs> uh-huh. Then, she, no, sorry. <laughs> I was just putting something away. And that's very, I mean, it almost sounds like you're trying to threaten someone, which isn't right. I'm going to get some cookies. I'm going to put some cookies on this. Sorry, I'm going to go friend group she becomes nice we let her back in which I think was so stupid of me and then she starts being rude again she gets mad at us she leaves for like three days comes back so then me and my friends we just got fed up with it and then our teacher our teacher from school accuses us of oh by the way I'm using these cookies accuses us of bullying her because we say hey stop that's rude and then we say something back to her when she calls us fat pigs so we call her a skinny one which i mean i don't but my other friends do but then my my stupid teacher calls uh, me and my friends out saying hey are you bullying kush team and we're like no have you seen what she says to people and then he doesn't even let us talk and just says, nope, you guys are bullies. And so my friend and me were kind. I wasn't crying. I was just, like, mad. Like, the only way I cried is because in the principal office, she was lying her. Like, she was lying. She said she didn't call me um, fat. I have a text message. A text message. Yep, a text message. I could have showed it. But then, now I mean, I was I was like nice in the thing. I was I, I apologized if I did anything wrong, which I didn't. <laughs> and so I get so me and my friend were crying. Well, I wasn't crying. I was just mad. I was like talking to her, saying it's okay. We'll talk to the principal. Literally, the principal walked past us. And we're like, hey, could we talk to you? Because our teacher's accusing us of bullying when someone called us the N-word and he doesn't really care. And he was like, who's your teacher? And we said our teacher. And he was like, okay, I'll talk to him. So my teacher kind of got, and then the next day he wasn't at school. So I think he had like something to do. And then he, um, so then we go to the principal office. Me and my friend were talking to him saying, hey, she's called us these, these, this, and that, and this, and this, and this, and that. And we've tried to be nice to her, but then our people in our class hear us saying something to her because everything she says is private and she says it at recess 
or anything like that. Now, I feel like, I really do feel like that we should have gotten the last word with our teacher because he just listens to, um, literally, he listened to um, this guy in my class that's a snitch. He literally snitches on everything. So he just hears it from him and he believes him. And bro, like, like, and then my teacher also on top of that was so unfair. He was, I think he was sexist because he literally would be like, okay, girls, you guys read and the boys and me are going to go play soccer. What? Also subscribe to my principal. Um, his channel is Mike Anderson. Go subscribe to him, by the way. Um, he's my principal. He's the best principal ever. Anyways, so then me and my friend were, like, saying this and this and that. And then the Kushtib comes in the room. We're like, hey, we don't like this. Girl literally said that. And she also made up rude nicknames. Well, they were rude rude nicknames that she called us and she called so i was like it was mine was what i'm not gonna say my last name because my last name was involved with it, but it, my other one was alia padia which or alia something I, it was something with a p i don't remember i'm gonna use this pink stuff now sorry i'm talking so much and then Miss Boy, like Miss Girl, literally says, to, and the same day she called Addison Admer. The same day, which I thought was so stupid. The same day. This stuff is not sticking. And I just personally hated it, hated it, hated it. So then. Obviously, I apologize because I say, hey, Kushdeep, I'm sorry if I did anything to hurt your feelings. But on top of that, you did things that hurt my feelings. Like, literally, she called me a monkey. You see me? And there's some things, and I'm very professional. Like, uh, I know this is weird, but I'm like, I'm literally, I'm like an adult in the principal's office. I'm very, like, what you call it? I'm very uh, professional. Like I'm like, I don't yell, I don't cry, so I don't stop crying. I say what I think and I say my feelings, and I just move on because I don't personally. I think that if you start just crying or in the the principal's office, like. <laughs> Per, like no one's gonna take you serious, but I'm, if you if you're stay strong, you you know that you're innocent. If you per, like if you did something wrong, then that's something where you'll be like, hey, I did something wrong. Um, I'm here to face any consequences. But for me, on the other hand, I rarely do things that would hurt someone's feelings. So, well, I. If someone does something to me that hurts me, I will be like, hey, but that. If someone calls me fat, I'll call you skinny. Like, <laughs> I know that's not always the best way to handle things, but that's just me. So I, I'm like basically finished, but I'm gonna finish the story where I'm like the last chunk. So I'm, I'm a very professional like person in the principal's office. I say what I think, and if I did do something wrong, which usually isn't the case, if I do do something wrong, I I stand up to it and I tell the truth. I don't lie in the office because that's just going to get you in more trouble. So her, on the other hand, she's lying that she... We literally have text messages and stuff saying that Lila, whatever her name is, I don't even remember, Lila or something knows where we live and everything when she texted her our addresses so really all i am telling you this for is because i'm bored and also to make a point that 
if your and my mom and all of our parents saw her and we showed her te the our parents text messages my mom did say i don't think she's a good friend and i didn't listen because i trusted her so much so literally the point is just listen to your parents so and really when we got told hey just stay away from each other she still would like we got her off of messenger kids she still would at school be rude, but we didn't think anything of it because if she does say any, and um, also a point is to all those black people in the black community, any race, anything, if someone says something racial, offensive or something, I don't know how to say it, say something. It's, it's such a, it's so, it's so weird. Or if someone asks you to say something that's racist, don't, don't say it because... I think that even black people, they should not be saying that. Anymore. Like, I, I think we should, we're, we should be allowed, but even, you, it's not something you should be saying at school. So, yeah. Sorry this turned into um, a tea video, but yeah, I finished the cake. It looks amazing. And slay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember all my points I made out about everything. And please like and subscribe. Bye.